you. In my world, storms are brewing. In my world, darkness was my friend and foe. In my world, I had no sight. In my world, I was lost with no light. Depression was my new normal. No strength, no want. But then I wanted an out from my world. My world was no longer comfort. In my world, light was coming. A warm light that I yearned for. In my world, a war begun. My walls broken into ashes. Oh Lord, you're making these ashes into clay. You were molding me. The pain was intense. The sense of direction was gone. You made me new. In my world, that darkness was gone, replaced by your light and spirit. It's no longer my world, but your masterpiece. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for what you've done for me. In the end, Lord, you saved someone like me. Thank you. Do you think you're gonna try this? Hopefully not. For Velasco Marlene. Good night. Room number five, please. Velasco Rosalia. Room number three, please. daily. Welcome to what we called home. My Lord, I can't do it no more. I'm losing myself. This abortion, all this abuse I'm going through, Lord, I can't do it no more. This hate, it keeps growing more and more. If you really are God, and if you really can't take me out from this situation, Father, I ask that you help me. I'm probably talking to someone that doesn't even exist, but it doesn't matter. At this point, I just want someone to save me. I don't know what to do. I'm losing myself, Lord. Help me. I don't want to be lost anymore. I don't want to continue this abuse. It's hurting me more than I thought it would. I know that I go to church all the time, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like I know you. Please, Lord, help me. If you save me, please, Lord, I give you my life on the altar. I don't know how, but I will give my all. I will try my best to give you my everything. I am tired of losing. I am tired of feeling scared, filled with this void that I can't fill up without you. Please, Lord, help me. I ask that you please come and help me. I just want you in my life. And if you can give me the opportunity to let me be saved and free, I will do everything it takes to make sure I stay in your presence. Lord, I can't take it anymore. I don't know. I don't know what to believe in anymore. I'm dead inside. I know you took me out of that abuse, of that home that never felt like home. I always said, take me home, but I was home, Lord. But inside of my soul, I was dead. I didn't know what to do. But my God, I want, I want peace. I want to know what love is. I want to know what it is to be loved by a parent. I want to know, my father, what it's like to actually be free because I can't take this pain anymore. How many times have I cried, Lord? How many times, my God, 
I didn't believe in you because I thought just because we were going to church because my brother was always constantly on us to believe in you when he was the one that was causing so much damage to me in the first place. So I didn't believe. I didn't believe in anything. So I'm asking you, my God, if you are real, then make me free, my God. I want to be free. And yes, you did, my God. And you took me out of that place. And now I'm in a home. Even if it's a foster home, my Lord, you show that you are real, my God. So my father, I'm sorry it's taking me such a long time. It's just I don't know who I am. I don't have an identity anymore. I don't know where to go. I don't know who I am. I don't know if I'm Marlene from months ago or from the Marlene right now. I don't know, my father, if this pain that I'm feeling, if it's going to be forever or if I'm actually going to be able to feel freedom my god so my lord set me free because i can't do this anymore i'm tired i'm tired of living this life i don't feel like i'm alive anymore i feel like a zombie walking around my god i don't feel anything i'm numb my lord i'm numb to the point that the pastors 